Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Let's jump right into it with the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting and my first impression of it. So, this one, I wasn't quite sure what I'd think about it at first. Two episodes in, it's really cute and adorable and I absolutely love it. Yeah. So it's about this uh, blue-haired Yakuza and the red-haired young lady. And the blue-haired guy's name is Kirishima Toru. And the young lady's name is... Did they give her... Yeah, they gave her a name, right? Yeah, it's uh, Yaika. Yaika. They usually just refer to her as young lady, so it took me a moment to uh, remember. But her name's Yaika. And so... She's been living with uh, kind of like a ter another caretaker for a while because her father's a Yakuza boss and all this. And But uh, once she gets a certain age or something like that, she's coming to live with her father now. And so this Kirishima guy, he's basically the right-hand man of her father who's this like violent enforcer of the Yakuza group who is known as the demon of the Sakuragi, which is the crime family. And so he basically just beats the hell out of anyone who stands up to the family or against the family. And he gets a new job to babysit the boss's daughter, Yaika. And so it begins a very cute, heartwarming story about this Yakuza taking care of this little girl who uh, is basically like a, a lonely little child, and it's just so, so adorable. Um, you find out that her mother had been in an accident and is in the hospital unconscious, uh, or in a coma, I guess you would call it, and her father can't really do much with her outside because he's the head of Yakuza family, so you know how that goes. And so Kirishima ends up taking her out and doing stuff, walking her to school, all this kind of cute stuff. It is just, it's a very sweet story about the, like, badass Yakuza guy basically becoming a father and, like, doting over this girl. And this girl opening her heart up slowly and just being adorable. So, yeah, so far it's been really, really cute and just beautiful. So if you're if you're really into like really adorable stuff, you're gonna like this. If you're into like slice of life stuff, this one's gonna be good too, right? Like there is still some like actiony stuff where Kirishima beats the hell out of some guys, um, or stuff like that. But it doesn't really happen too much. Like you don't actually see him like fight off like twenty guys. Like you see him go do something, and then. Like, it transitions to the aftermath of him surrounded by a bunch of people who are beat up. <laughs> that's kind of what happens to it. And uh, I think that's cool. It's definitely one that's going to be good this season. And very adorable. So, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about it, if you've seen it, if you're watching it. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say about this one. I really don't have any complaints about it. It's very cute. Very, very cute. Second episode maybe tear up a little bit. It was just so adorable and cute and wholesome and all that. So, uh, yeah. Check it out, definitely. Till next time, everyone. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.